Next stop, El Paso. Jeffrey's brought us straight here, see if we can pick our boxes up. Let's find out. I bought a hard sided bike case, $100. Couldn't say no, they're like $600 new. So here we are in our hotel room. It has a pool. We're going to get some food. I'm starving. Right, been out for dinner. Tomorrow is bike packing day. I wonder how I'm, how I'm going to feel in the morning. I have no idea. Strange. Anyway, good night. I'll see you tomorrow. John finally yeah. has accepted defeat. <laughs> yeah. We need suitcases. We're at the Goodwill thrift store. I love this store. Went with this one. Eleven dollars. Can't complain. So here I am in El Paso. The trip's over. I thought I'd film something just kind of summing up the trip. It's always strange. I had this with the AT when you're finished and you've got to transition back to normal life every day. For the past two months, I've just had one goal and that's to get a little further up the trail, find water and eat. And that's enough. It's a, a great way of keeping yourself occupied. I'm finding it hard to, to, to film this because um, I haven't really come to terms with it all. If I was to sum it up, oh, I don't know. I can't do this. I just don't know what I don't know what to say. It's weird. I think I'll try again tomorrow. <laughs> what I can tell you is about the gear and everything and how that performed. My bike, flawless. My sleeping pad failed, my pillow failed, I lost my headlamp, but I had my stove, the, the igniter failed and it, it fell apart just towards the end. I mean, everything else seemed to fail, but the bike, flawless. But I want to do more bike packing. I'm definitely a convert. I, I, I think bike packing is way more fun than hiking. You can just carry more, you can travel further you cover so much ground not that that's all it's about but it's the right pace for me i would love to do more trips probably shorter trips in time and distance and take my time if i was to do this again i'm pretty sure i would do it over maybe 10 weeks i didn't miss having days off but i would love to have done less mileage and stopped more even if it was just to sit around for an hour in some of these places and just take in the landscape. But I need to look into the types of trails I'm going to do. I have to stress, this is the first proper bikepacking trip I've done, so... I am an absolute novice. Although this is a long trail, I, I am not qualified to give advice on anything because my experience is limited everyone has been so supportive and I can't think of any channel that could say that I'll be honest it's amazing and I am very grateful and I answer every comment I suppose there's going to come a point where I'm unable to do that but my mindset at the moment is if people have taken the time to write something to me I'm gonna take the time to write something back and I've really enjoyed I haven't felt alone on the trip even when I've been riding alone I feel like somebody's there with me and that's, you know, you watching. It's overwhelming in a way when you've got people that are following along and sending you such nice comments, encouraging you. Yeah, I think I'm probably a little emotional. I'll try and talk more about the trail itself as well tomorrow. At the moment, it's, it's, I can't find the words to explain what it was like. 
and I'm probably going to ask Bill and John as well to give me their opinion so I'll film that as well they're good guys I'm glad I've uh, I met up with them it's funny you don't know I didn't know either of these and now I feel like I've been friends with them for almost my whole life it's such a unique thing to these long trips a lot of shared experiences and uh, I'm always prepared to do these trails by myself and I expect to do them by myself but uh, it's nice hopefully this was just not rambling nonsense but I suspect it was you're a nice audience so I'm sure you don't mind am I too old to do that maybe I'll start a new trend this ma'am yeah that works only works half the time it's pretty cool pretty isn't nice. it so, yeah. it's voice activated yeah it is yeah GoPro yeah. stop recording <laughs> Thank you, GoPro. So I'm here with John and Bill. Hello. Who you know as bit part players in, <laughs> <laughs> in this uh, journey. In we've this been journey, on. as valued companions on the ride. So uh, yeah, we were just gonna have a quick chat about what we thought of the ride. I tried to film it yesterday, but I couldn't do it. So I need I need uh, backup you support. Yeah, I, I started, emotional support. Emotional support. I started yeah. talking about it, and then I just I didn't know what to say. So I thought I'd get your opinions too. The sure. ride itself, what we thought about it. I mean, Did it was obviously amazing, wasn't it? But it was amazing. It was amazing. Mm. Do the folks know uh, where, where, where we're from, or who? No, they don't names? know anything about you yet. So John. Yes, uh, my name is John. I am uh, from Canada, Ottawa, Ontario. An Ottawan. Ottawanian? Is that what they're called? Maybe. Yeah. Mm. So what made you do the ride then? Why did you want to do it? Um, yeah, that's a great question, Matt, and thank you for asking that. Um, I think I've been, I'm not, I haven't been an avid cyclist all my life, but I did uh, become interested in the last, I would say, five to six years. I've done a few little trips. Uh, the Great Divide mountain bike ride has always been on my agenda as a uh, challenge and that's really why I, I did it. I wanted the challenge yeah. and I wanted the experience of mm. uh, meeting people in places and, and enjoying that ride. Which you definitely got from this then. It definitely was got from this. Definitely a challenge. A success for, mm. in that regard. So Bill, you're from West Virginia. Um, yeah. You did it. Why did you? you uh, you've done other I, big bike tours. Yeah, so. I have. Uh, for me, it's about adventure. Yeah. I love adventure. I love challenges. Uh, it's escape. It's um, it's it's a lot of things. Getting away really. from. It's getting away. Because yeah. um, you've done yeah. the, the PCT as well as the AT. Yeah, I've hiked the AT, the PCT, and did a almost a year long trip around the country on a road yeah. bike tour. Yeah. And this was much different, much harder. Um, but I love. All those adventures and yeah. for different reasons. You're you're definitely more. You're you're a different level to me and John. We're about the same. We we're just into this. Just starting really because we're going to do more. Really. But you're yeah. like a career adventure uh, yeah. cyclist hiker I'm a, I'm type. I'm a repeat offender. What did you think of the the, the route? Maybe it, it was more difficult than I thought it yeah. would be. Um, I think because I was coming from a road touring kind of thinking. Yeah, it was more difficult, but I didn't over research the what I would see out mm. here and mm. really didn't re over research it in general and so I like that but it was a lot more difficult the scenery and the experience was mm -hmm. um, definitely met my expectations if not more so yeah. Yeah. It, was, it was great I mean I knew it was going to be hard but not as hard as mm. it actually yeah. turned out to be the, the variety the var variety of landscapes and the, the route itself I mean they really did keep us off the pavement as yeah. much as possible. They, they, they yeah. did, but when you were on pavement, it was a nice little break. Yeah. So I didn't yeah. know the, the sections we were on. Yeah. What was your favorite bit then, would you say? What was your favorite state? I, I really can't name a favorite state. No. I think every state, every province had its uh, good points yeah. and uh, maybe bad points, but uh, certainly I can find something good in every every uh, area and every state we were that in. That makes like good sense. Canada, the scenery was fantastic. Yeah. Montana, the variation of, um, of um, 
the environment from the steep hills to the crazy climbs mm. to what I call the high plains desert to the weather. Colorado, I love those big, long, gentle climbs. And when you poke out at the top of a hill, you could see the uh, nice round hills and those huge dips. Yeah. Wyoming had those great wide open spaces where you get on top of just a wee hill and great. you could see forever and yeah, you know, yeah honestly I felt great. like I was the only person in the world that time yeah was, yeah you know. and New Mexico I guess is more like you just feel isolated yeah. you isolation feel, the and challenge you are, yeah. you are really yeah, yeah. I yeah. definitely agree with John on all of that and yeah. um so it's hard, it really is hard to pick a favorite. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, but that's the beauty of the route. It changes yeah. so much. There's different parts that different people may like more than others. Yeah. But you never get bored. It's going to change. You never on get you. bored. And if you think like a section hard, yeah. in a couple yeah. hours it changes. Yeah. And it's, yeah. it's different. Yeah. That's one thing I found is every day was a new challenge. Like yeah. as soon as you think, oh, the challenge is the road. Well, the challenge becomes the wind, mm. and, or it becomes the, the bugs rain, or the, sun, or the or bugs. The yeah. Mud. There's, yeah. <laughs> there's always something. There's, the climb. there's no plain sailing. There's oh always gosh, some no. sort of challenge. Isn't there? But that's what was so cool. Yeah. You, always, you just overcome those and you move if on. If it was yeah. easy, it'd be boring, Absolutely. wouldn't it? Yeah. 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 Think, um, yeah. You know, I, I give you guys a lot of credit for helping me through the ride because, you know, when things were tough, I knew you guys were there to pick me up, and that was a great part of the ride for oh, me. And I appreciate that from you, Matt, and from you, Bill. It was great. Well, yeah, I, I mean, did. I only rode with you guys for a shorter period of time, but yeah. um, I felt like when we did, we were just a team. We just yeah. did what it wasn't yeah. like we all worked yeah. together. And, that's, and I needed that's that. I needed that as well, John. Definitely. And can help. Yeah, I needed yeah. the, the support. It's nice to know someone's there with you, and you'd have done the same yeah. for me. <laughs> so, what about your equipment then? Your bike? What what sort of what bike did you? I rode a Tumbleweed Stargazer. Yeah pretty much stock. Um, I added a dyno hub and light, which didn't really use a whole lot, but I love the bike. Um, it performed really well. We had two flats, and that was mm -hmm. mostly my fault from a uh, pinch flat going too fast, which I like to do. Yeah. And riding off-road in New Mexico, which is not a good oh, idea. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you yeah. Do that. yeah. But yeah. I plugged them both and kept on riding, no, no issues. I put an Ergon uh, SMC uh, saddle on and it was great. I was really happy with that. And all three of us rode without padded shorts the whole yeah. time. Yeah. And um, I think I was really happy with that choice. But we started with them, all three of us, I think, didn't we? I well, had did you, some. I never used you them. You never used them? Oh, I used them for the first part, as did you. I but did. I was happy well. with that decision. Yeah. 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 I was too. I found the um, friction, if you will, between your skin, the pad, and the shorts. Everything was, to me, always going in a bit of a yeah. different direction, yeah. and I think it caused some discomfort. Yeah. And, and that's such a critical. Yeah. Um, getting rid of the contact. pad, I think, uh, actually alleviated uh, a lot of that yeah. uh, soreness for me anyway, and I was glad I Definitely did want that. quick drying clothing yeah. out here. Quick drying clothing. The thing I learned, maybe, because my, my saddle was the Brook C-17, really hard. And uh, I think it was too hard. It needs padded shorts. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've ordered an Ergon SMC. Yeah. I've copied Bill. Yeah. And your bike, John? Uh, my bike, Matt, was the uh, Two Terrain mm. Explorer 29 inch wheels and uh, the Pinion uh, P18 drive train with the Gates uh, carbon uh, belt. Mm. And all of that worked flawlessly. I couldn't be happier with it. Your bike? Yeah, my bike. My, mine was fine. I had 27 and a half inch tires, 2.6 inch, so I had the widest tires. I didn't have one flat. The mm -hmm. bike was fine. The belt popped off three times, but I think that was my doing job. We're going to blame, blame the operator. Yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was too. It, I didn't have the belt tight enough. Mm -hmm. I didn't take it seriously enough. I'm going to get flack. And also, it wasn't aligned. I was aligning it wrong, so the belt was always yeah. slightly. It was skewed. It was ready. It was like prone to to, yeah. to fly off. A stone would get caught in the sprocket, and prize it off. You mm. didn't have any problems. No so problem. Yours I'm, never came off. I'm never certain it was on. my doing. Yeah. I was um, I was happy with it. I mean, you have to be, don't you? All yeah. of us have to be. Yeah. yeah because happy. it's brutal. It's punishing, and and it's, it's a, a rough, it amazes rough me. Rough trail. Your bike, these, your bike takes a lot of beating. Yeah, it takes a lot it of beating. Does. So I'd be it happy does. with the pinion. But if I already had a bike with a normal derailleur, I would have rolled that. I, so I feel yeah. that would have worked. And I want to say with my bike, I went through, uh, four, I think it was four chains and one set of brake pads, mm. original tires all the way through, mm -hmm. 
that was really the only maintenance. Mm-hmm. And I would say keep up on if you have a chain, keep up on the maintenance. Yeah. Uh, about seven hundred miles. Keep yep. it lube. Keep it clean. I could have probably could have done better with cleaning it. Yeah. You just got to keep up on that. So. Mm-hmm. That makes a big difference. Yeah. Yeah. yeah in- interestingly, like the belt is about a hundred pounds. I would say probably a hundred dollars. It's less yes. than the price of four chains. So the cost proposition for the right. belt. It's not really, I mean, it's probably cheaper to, in the long run, to have a belt. Yeah, the maintenance factor, I think, is important. Yeah. If yeah. you, you know, we, you know, I had time to do other things watching while watching Bill Lucas yeah. change. Yeah, that's right, yeah. They were yeah. not productive things, but they no. were different. But, but you know, my, my argument there, I suppose, was in favour of the derailleur. I like the derailleur. You could be anywhere in the world and break a derailleur yeah, and get it fixed. Right. If our opinion gearboxes broke, we're knackered. We all did well. Right. So I don't know what else, what else were we going to talk about? What about the things that are attached to the bike? The, the bike. Oh, so yeah. I kind of categorized the bike, things that are attached to it, and things in, yeah. in, in, in your bag that you carry your clothes. Yeah. But, you know, for me, I wasn't thrilled with my uh, aero racks. The front, I was okay with. The rear ones always seemed to slip. Uh, I like the setup that Bill had and that you had, which was... Um, you know, more panniers uh, in the yeah. back or the front and easier access. Yeah, yeah, yeah. your panniers were good. I was really happy with them. I had rock ice bags um, pretty much all the way around. And I was really happy with it. The mini pannier bags from rock ice mm-hmm. were 13 liters a piece. Roll, everything was roll, um, very solid. Yeah. Uh, really yeah. didn't rattle around. Mm-hmm. It, was, it was attached to the bike nicely. Yeah. So I was really happy with that. Yeah. The frame bag was good. It was a roll type. I mean, right. you guys both had zippers and never problems, but we saw a couple zippers right. that yeah, they definitely failed. Broken, yeah. And if they yeah. fail, you're, yeah. you know, yeah, you're in trouble. Of trouble. Uh, I'll, I'll give a little shout out to my frame bag, yeah. my feet bags, my top two front and rear top two bags made by a company named Shaka Packs. Shaka Packs. And uh, their symbol oh, is yeah, I saw that, that. that guy. Yeah, I think. Cool. And uh, custom made and really well made. The zippers uh, yeah. were flawless, and the bags themselves were very good. Good information. So yours, yeah. rock, rock ice, rock iced out of Asheville, yeah. North Carolina, and the shack attack Shaka good. Pack. True, true. My um, rear rack, the uh, aero, the tail fin, aero pack. I loved, brilliant, very solid. fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Move it all. yeah. The bag on the front, I like the bag, but I need some sort of front rack because it bounced around and it started to wear through my carbon fork, yeah. my expensive yeah. carbon yeah, fork, yeah, which yeah. is. Yeah. Annoying, so I need a front rack. I would, I your click stand. Yeah, it's like a, a yeah. foldable. I wish I had one. I yeah. really do. I, it was I, like I, a uh, hiking pole that yeah. kind of attached. Yeah, to yeah the with frame. like a yeah. A th- that was just so cool. I'm yeah. I'm going to order one of them. So mm-hmm. I was jealous of that, and I'm jealous of your front rack. Yeah. So uh, I want one of those. And the other thing was the saddle, which I've already copied you on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I I loved it. I can't actually think of anything. What about the, what about your sleep setup? Was so I did something very regard. unique is uh, I used a hammock um, and I only had to go to the ground five times. Now I did have to carry a redundant setup. I had a pad, so the hammock has an under quilt, but I also carried a pad, a, a ground cloth, and used the tarp that I would put over the hammock on the ground. But I only had to do that five times. Yeah. So it was great, and everybody said New Mexico was going to be really hard, and I never, never yeah. had to go to the ground That's at all. That's wild. In New Mexico. That's yeah. wild. So the hammock yeah. was really nice. I slept great on my big hammock yeah. camper, so mm. I was happy with that decision. It can make it challenging at times, but it always worked. Well, my, my I was happy with mine, my tent, and my quilt to my eventual yeah. sleeping pad which I sponged off Joe John's son I don't know if I've even said that that Joe uh, was your son yeah well, he is your son. Sh- he still <laughs> is yeah. uh, he started the tour yeah. and uh, about how just before halfway he had to uh, he had family commitments and yeah. a family trip planned so uh, he had to get off yeah uh, you know when I Joe and I planned the trip. I told him it was a 30-day trip. <laughs> well, kind of. And yeah. so he, he, in all fairness to uh, Joe, he kind of planned for that time yeah. frame. So he had to leave. Joe was a good time. guy. I like Joe. But he did give you his sleeping pad. He gave me his sleeping pad, which was which so loved. better. Yeah, I just, yeah. And I just love to this day. It's so much better. My, my yeah. first one failed, as you probably know. And um, the one Joe gave me is so comfortable. Mm-hmm. I'm really happy. But I did have the Durston uh, single wall. X Mid 2P Pro 10, which performed very well. Yeah. A little sketchy setting it up in very high winds uh, mm. the night I was separated from you guys in uh, Hospice in the cemetery of 
basically uh, setting up in pure sand uh, and high yeah. winds was tough, but um, surrounded by corpses. Yes, yeah, surrounded <laughs> by yeah, in yeah, a cemetery. Slept with the dead. And yeah, I've done that four times. Yeah, yeah. it's quiet. Yeah, oh, it's, it's great. But uh, you liked it in the general. The tent itself, yeah, yeah, very, very roomy. The yeah. vestibules are huge. You can basically put everything but your bike in there and uh, keeps everything dry. So it was a good tent. I think we all agree a, a very small one person is not yeah. ideal. Like no. You need a little extra space. Yeah, we need an extra space. Like Especially with the weather's bad. Exactly. The other thing I would like to do, Bill has a tarp for his hammock, but I would love to bring very a tarp hard, on very large trip. tarp. Yeah. Just if it's rain, even if I brought my tent, I'd have a tarp set up mm -hmm. so I can sit underneath yeah. and... It's nice. Because then the rain becomes a pleasant thing yeah. to deal with. Yeah. You could sit in the rain, sit, yeah, cook it. and enjoy it, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I think, I think that's pretty much... Uh, the, other, the only other thing that um, Alan and some folks we've met on the tour, which I'd be interested in maybe share with the folks is, uh, what was your guilty pleasure? What did you bring on the tour that uh, you really didn't need that you probably should have left at home? Uh, probably my ocelot, my pet ocelot, which uh, <laughs> escaped in uh, Canada. <laughs> no. my, guilty, my guilty pleasure, I've been told, was my drone. Yeah. Uh, it didn't yeah, feel like it, a pleasure because it, getting it, was, it out. And, it, and it's probably worth it. Yeah. You've got some great shots with it. Yeah, I don't know I if it's it. guilty. I mean, you did nothing bad with it so. <laughs> <laughs> that we know of. No, no you know yeah. of. Yeah. What was your guilty pleasure? Uh, mine would have been the Aeropress coffee maker. Aeropress. I mean, uh, it was good. Uh, I can honestly say in New Mexico I maybe used it twice, you know, but it was really, really nice, nice coffee, in the yeah. cooler weather and, and every morning getting up and proper coffee, and making yeah. proper coffee. And it does so make it was good nice. How yeah. about you? Uh, it's very hard because I can't really think of one item. But I think it, your hammock setup is. A well, good I would say hammock, but you need you need a you need a something to camp yeah. in. But you're right; it was it was extra that I had to carry. Yeah. yeah. Um, I can't carry too much food, but I gave it away to these guys. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so it was our guilty stuff. pleasure as well. Um, but as sure as on like luxury items, I did have uh, like uh, bedrock camp shoes, which I used in camp in town. I loved them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Probably would have gone with a little lighter shoe. Um, yeah. I thought I was going to ride in those, and I didn't. Um, I also had a Kindle. Didn't read a lot because I was so tired tonight, which we all yeah. are. Lay down and you pretty much just pass out. Yeah. But I did have the um, book uh, that uh, Venture Cycling sells. You can get it through Amazon, and um, I had it on the Kindle uh, about the route, and just gives you a helpful, good information on yeah. each day. Yeah. I would yeah. try to read it at night before yeah. we would ride. A lot of history um, and information you wouldn't get any right. other way. I, I, having seen the what you got from that book I would have definitely I would have done yeah. the same carried it had I known I didn't think I needed it as you yeah. said but you brought it anyway and it was it was a good like yeah, those when we were looking at those tubules it. and all that stuff and that I would was say if you don't carry a Kindle just get it on your phone yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you don't need it's it a, it's we a quick need read to carry because we had Bill well, we had true. Bill yeah, yeah yeah that's right so I think that's probably it we're, we're, we're all thinking about plans for next year I'm I'm uh, looking at some options at the moment and you're thinking I'm of some, thinking some smaller of something. trips maybe yeah, I think in big trips but I need to start thinking in like a month or so trips because yeah. there's so many out there and they're there's manageable so in they? yeah. yeah and I would just tell everybody get out there have your own adventure yeah. like, there's so much to see yeah yes mm -hmm. absolutely the more you do the more you're going to go yeah but you'd recommend this to anybody I, I would I definitely would sir yeah it's it's an amazing trip yeah uh, I think more and more people are doing it every year yeah um, it's difficult yeah. it's, don't come into it thinking it's not because yeah. it's going to be yeah. it's hard. very hard can't speak for you guys, but I realize that, you know, we're capable of doing more than we thought. Absolutely. And if you just put your mind to it, uh, yeah, you can do it no matter what age you are. So yeah. Just go out and do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah taking exactly. A, taking a day at a time and just yeah, yeah, you can. Absolutely. working your through, way through whatever difficulties in front of you. Yeah. Kind of look town to town, don't look too far ahead. Yeah, being prepared yeah. to adapt, you know, yeah. if you need to. And um, I mean, even it's, it's, it's right just, just um, take longer over certain sections or even miss sections out. I mean, we try not to, but if you're going to miss sections out. And I would say, don't be take, precious Don't, don't feel it. bad about taking your days off. Take half days, yeah. especially yeah. early on. Yeah. when you're tired yeah. um, that, that helps a lot a day off yeah. but yeah. even sometimes you need to take two days off mm. right right mm. right and sharing uh, pro tip much. number 11 from Matt Ryder yeah. don't be afraid to walk up a hill oh god I yeah. mean yeah. honestly yeah. I'm bad yeah. on that like <laughs> yeah that was uh, that was really good advice mm. you gave and uh, I took it to heart uh, mm. when you're feeling tired or yeah. the grade is steep yeah uh, it's like a different muscle group you're exercising and getting off the bike and walking is a good thing. Giving your body a rest, getting into a different position. You're not cheating, you're yeah. just doing it a different way. Absolutely, I never thought of it cheating in one bit. If somebody had pushed a bike up 
for me, like a Sherpa, which uh, I would recommend <laughs> if you can afford it, <laughs> then yeah. But no, I mean, uh, yeah, push the yeah. bike, push it up the hills. You, you look, I look you, back. You're, you're going to have to videos. anyways. There's a lot of times on this route. Yeah. Um, on my other bike tour around the country almost a year, I never pushed once. Yeah. I pushed yeah. a lot on this. this yeah. Yeah. And you have to. You hit a point where it's just ridiculous yeah. how, how steep And you're a machine, a cycling machine. I try to ride as far as I can. Yeah, yeah, you are. So if you're pushing, anyone can push. Yeah. Anyway, I think I'm going to run out of uh, battery and yeah. memory card now. So that's it. I will say Hopefully it'll cheers. Be thank yeah. you. Thank yeah. you both for helping me get through the trip. Yeah. Good, good guys. guys. Good guys. Yeah, good guys. <laughs> and. Um, Hopefully we might do another one at some point. You never yeah, know. Super. Yeah, super cool. We've uh, tended to be talked about it, yeah. so you know, you never know. It might happen. So yeah, yeah. all kinds of uh, trips to be done. Yeah. And, yeah. Life's an adventure. Yeah, get out there. It is. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Listen to Bill.